This video is the record of 3D modeling and animation of wire payoff device by FreeCAD version 0.19.3. Finished 3D model of wire payoff device is driven now. Golden color wire wand on the static bobbin is being unwound by pulling force from outside. Flyer arm sitting on the bobbin is being rotated to prevent wire from tangling. The running wire coming out from the bobbin is also moving upward or downward slowly, according to the position wand between the traverse width of the bobbin. For stable tensioning on the wire, magnet is installed inside, between upper rotating unit and lower static unit. FreeCAD 3D modeling of each part and unit are mainly done on part design workbench and some on part workbench. FreeCAD assembling is done on assembly for workbench. Thin wire running situation is displayed by visible sketch lines in FreeCAD without 3D modeling. I wanted direct texture mapping on the cylindrical surface for the wire wand on the bobbin but could not find suitable way. Instead, I arranged 10 separate texture images just inside of the cylinder body and adjusted the transparency of the cylinder body for the wand wire to set 10%. And additionally, helical sketches are added along the surface. To give text on the upper surface of bobbin, FC circular text macro was utilized. Regarding animating by assembly for workbench, in FreeCAD. Animating of the flyer arm rotation was easily done, by setting attachment angle as variable. For the animating of, the up-down reciprocating movement, of the wire. On the sketcher workbench, lines are sketched between three datum points, to be shown as wire. Z-axis coordinates of two of these three datum points are expressed with the variable. Although the equations for z-axis coordinates of these datum points look complicated, it is not so difficult to understand. For reciprocating movement, I found the equation y equals sine x minus cosine x. Here, y is reciprocating between plus 1 and minus 1. I modified the equation for this purpose, by adding constants. Z equals, D times, sine A slash R, minus cosine A slash R, minus P. Here, Z is Z axis coordinate of datum point. In this equation, D is, half of up down movement distance. For datum point 5, half of the inner width of bobbin, 266 mm. A is designated as the primary variable before, for the angle of rotating flyer. R is, ratio between the number of turns of flyer and the number of reciprocating up-down movement of wire, determining wound pitch. P is, center level of wire up-down movement. FreeCAD animation scene was recorded to make video. The movement in the animation is too much slower than the practical movement of this device, partly due to my PC capability. I edited the recorded video to show the practical running speed of this device by increasing the speed by 48 times. And also edited to show the initial speed acceleration step. Finally, I checked wire linear running speed, in the video playing time. In the edited video, the flyer rotated 95 times, for 79 seconds at normal speed.
Now the diameter of wand wire is 340 mm, so wire running speed is 77 meters per minute, that is, 95 times, 0.34 meter times, pi, times 60, divided by 79. I also checked the pitch length of wire up-down movement, per one turn of flyer rotation. Again, in the video, the wire reciprocated two times upward and downward, during the flyer rotated 95 times at normal speed. Now the traverse width of bobbin is 266 mm. Wire wand pitch in the bobbin, becomes about 11 mm, that is, 266 times 4, divided by 95. 3D modeling and animation by FreeCAD are done nicely. Thanks for watching.